Hello everyone, I'm Jay from the Game of UK. Welcome back to another episode of Forbidden Memories. Now, we've done the story. We have indeed stopped Seto Harijin. We've stopped the Dark Knight. Here he is over here. And Nightmare. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yeah, what else is there left to do? Well, uh, if you uh, feel the need to play the game again, you can start the game again with your, high, you know, powerful deck with all the cards that you've gathered. Um, if you feel like fighting Hazian again in the story and actually winning this time, again, remember, like I said, if you do fight him um, in the story and you win, he'll just keep saying, you know, I'm going to fight you again until I win. You know, so yeah, there's that. Now, in these videos, these videos are going to basically be the extra videos, which um, I mentioned in the last part, that I'll be trying to do a few extra videos, maybe a few duels, uh, maybe a few um, customised deck types and stuff, like, you know, dragons, warriors, fiends, and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, <coughs> I'll be also showing a few odd, you know, recommendation cards if you want to make your deck stronger and better. Um, and you know, a few rare cards, obviously, this uh, episode will be dedicated to Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, if you did see at the beginning of the video, I assure you, winning Blue Eyes White Dragon, and it was indeed from Seto the Third. Now, if you're wondering about, like, I've beaten Nightmare 201 times, and I'm just going to put this out here. Yes, over time, I have beaten Sebek that many times. I, I I do not like. However, this isn't the data I used last time. I don't know what I did. I think I mucked up. I think I was like copying a memory card data and I mucked something up. And <clears throat> I think I transferred the wrong data. So this is actually my old data um, that I had uh, about a year ago. Um, where over time I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and... You know, this is when I was trying to see what kind of cards I could get. Um, and yet, yeah, over the course of the year, it took me that many times. Now, the reason why it took me that many times is because I was trying to get Metal Zoa. And yeah, all I can say is, if unless you really, really want that card for completion, to actually own it in card, then go for it. But I wouldn't personally recommend it. But as far as most people are, most people know and, and I know, the only person you can win Metal Zoa in card from is indeed uh, Sebek. Now you can win Zoa from him, and you can win uh, Me Mega Metal Morph, sorry, from Band of Keith. Believe it or not, in my <coughs> my other data I used for the Let's Play, um, I only I s teched him four times. On the fourth time, I got Metal Morph. So it was luck of the draw there, um, and I believe it must have been not many times I fought Band of Keith and got Metal Zoa here as well. So I mean, not Metal Zoa, sorry, Metal Morph. So it's really it's not that hard to get the two cards separately, personally, but it is very, 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 very hard. Um, <clears throat> well, like I say, it's luck of the draw. Um, I've seen other Let's Plays get it after like 80 wins. Of, um, you have to get it in S, S, S pal. You can't get it in A pal. Um, you know, whereas some people, like me, take Duel for so many times, you know, over time, and you still don't get it. I eventually got it, um, and I used the password, not the password, sorry, the memory card trick. But um, if you really do want to get Metazoa, I'd recommend fighting him. It's practically impossible for me to show you me winning it. It literally, like I say, you know, it could take forever to try and win him again. Um, and that's why I'm doing Blue Eyes White Dragon. Because Blue Eyes White Dragon is actually... Well, it, I think it's rarer than Metal Zoa in terms of just general. But in this game, Blue Eyes White Dragon is less rare than Metal Zoa. Because he is actually easier to win. You can get Blue Eyes White Dragon by fighting Set of the Fern and getting your A-Pow or an S pal, so it can either be A or S. So in my in my book, it's it's a lot easier to get Blue Eyes White Dragon. There's been rumors about saying if you if you keep like S powering him, you'll eventually get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in card. 
no I don't believe that's true it's not, it's not been confirmed anywhere <clears throat> you can win the uh, we can win the ultimate dragon ritual which you have to s tech him for which is not very easy to do um, I've never done it before it is extremely hard so like I said he is the hardest person in the game um, I may do it eventually but yeah I know he has the ultimate dragon ritual he, he, um, believe it or not he has used it once on me um, so he doesn't definitely have it and I know you can definitely win it but whether I'm gonna bother getting it I'm not sure but um, <clears throat> yeah it really isn't I mean as long as you can beat Seto the third and get at least an A or an S you're likely to get a blue eyes doesn't mean you need it all the time but you know if you can at least win against him a few times then you're there now this deck is basically a dragon deck this is just my customized deck so I was experimenting a little bit <clears throat> This will probably I'll probably use this, you know, for a few duels and stuff. And like I say, if anyone wants to request a few customized decks, or I might just do it myself, um, feel free to, you know, let me know. Now the reason I got Guy of the Fierce Knight is for Dragon, for uh, Dragon Champion. And that's it. Um, and the reason I got Twin Edit, obviously, because he's still a dragon. It's just, you know, a Thunder type, so I kept him there. Um, I've also heard rumours of if you have a certain type of deck, like a dragon deck, um, and most of it, most of the dragons you use are dragons. When you win, you're likely to get something related to dragons. I don't know if that's true personally. I've never really felt like I've gotten any luckier with that. But um, seems I'm going to be doing these customised decks. I'm going to be dueling anyway. So we'll see if, if I feel like I'm starting to, you know, say for example I fight, <coughs> I don't know, say the third, and I start to win Blue Eyes White Dragons like there's no tomorrow. I'll start to think, hmm, I'm either really lucky or there might be something to do with this type thing. But um, yeah, my deck is basically Meet Your Big Dragon, Blue Eyes, Twin Edited. Sierra, which um, you can win, which I think I have won once, but it's quite a rare card. Um, you can buy it though, I think it's about 1500 star chips. Um, I did buy it, I believe, but it is possible to win. You can win it from Hygiene 1 or 2, you can win it from Set of the 3rd. I don't know about Set of the 2nd, <coughs> but um, you probably can. Uh, so, yeah, I've got Sierra. Red Eyes Black Dragon. I couldn't get that Mitsi Yabu card. That's actually nine, you know, Infinity Star Chips. So you can't buy that. Um, you can win it from Set of the Third, I believe. Um, maybe Hygiene, I'm not so sure. Um, I can't remember if I bought Kaiser Dragon or if I won it. I think I bought it, but I'm not too sure. You can win it as well, again, from Set of the Second or Set of the Third. Um, so yeah, I've got him. <coughs> and of course, has a dragon and some thunders you know for fusion and I got one meteor dragon so I may get another one I'm surprised I've only got um, one meteor dragon actually and let me just check that I uh, got meteor B dragon of course I got about eight of them um, but normal meteor dragon no um, I actually only have one I'm quite surprised um, yeah you can win and you can win quite a few from uh, the meadow mage so I'm sure I'll get some of them um, and of course I got bright castle <coughs> Which, again, I don't know if I had in the playthrough. I know I had Megamorph, but um, again, if you s tick Pegasus, same way you do for Megamorph, um, like I shoot in the playthrough, then, uh, yeah, you can uh, get Bright Castle. Um, I don't think... Uh, can you buy... Yeah, you can buy Bright Castle, but I think it's a, it's a lot of starships. It's like 3,000 starships or something like that. Um, Dragon Treasure. You can, you can either win from Seto... Oh, you can either win from set of the second, third, Kaiba. I think you can win it from uh, Pegasus as well, or you can buy it for about I think 500 to 800, something like that. Uh, Mountain, eh, Mount Mountain's quite easy to win, personally, in my opinion. Roy Geki, um, this is what I actually started with my my deck, so I used the password, not the password. I keep saying the password trick. <laughs> I used the memory card trick for that, and. Widespread runes you can get from uh, Pegasus. Uh, you can also get Acid Trap Hole from Kaiba. I don't know if you can get it from Pegasus. I've always got widespread runes. Um, but you can get Acid Trap Hole, which is basically it destroys a monster with 3,000 attack or less. Widespread runes destroys 
any monster, no matter how powerful it is. Oh, sorry, just knocked my mic there. So yeah, it's an extremely good card there. And that's pretty much my uh, dragon deck. So um, yeah, I'd recommend, like I say, you're going to need Meet Your Black Dragon. You're going to need Megamorph. Um, well, no, you know, well, they're not necessarily, but you're going to need at least... 2500 attack monsters at least because it's very unlikely that Seto's not going to get a powerful card if he doesn't get Blora's ultimate he'll probably get Gate Guardian and if not Meteor B and if not Black Skull um, you know Metal Zoa, Black Cluster, Blue Eyes White Dragon even Twinnerded you know he's gonna get something so you know now the first thing I would recommend don't think all oh, have got Meteor B Dragon put him in attack Put something in defense. Anything. We just want to lure out whatever card he has. I'm probably going to lose as well because, you know, he gets Blora's Ultimate Dragon almost every single time. But what I am going to do is I'm going to equip Meteor B Dragon with two equipped cards here <clears throat> and just see what happens. Now he'll most likely either use Raigeki or Shadow Spell. To see what he does or neither okay he's using neither sometimes he will throw down wise widespread runes as well because he made that rookie mistake I'm gonna use Roy Geki goodbye boom all right so I've probably got rid of his two blue eyes ultimates I know he's got f a third one but he might not have it no he doesn't it's probably gate guardian so that's cool try not using magic cards if you can. Equip cards are fine. Okay, Speed Skull. Um, try not to. I mean, I'm using it just to win, um, but obviously it hinges your chances. So try and use as little as magic cards as you can. And uh, yeah, if you get an A on this, hope that you get Blue Eyes. <clears throat> okay, I've got Metal Guardian. You will always get, um, I mean, look, statistically he's more powerful than me because of Blue Eyes armor alone and Gate Guardian, so... But there's practically no way to make yourself any stronger. Um, you know. Because Meteor would be Dragon. It's the strongest card you can get. Now, of course, you can win the Gate Guardian Ritual card from the Labyrinth Mage. Um, <clears throat> and you can win Suijin, Sangra Thunder, and Karzajin. I've won Suijin before, and I've won... I think I've won all three of them. Um, but I've never had them all in one save data. So I've never, you know, never bothered to get the ritual card to be honest. But um Yeah, I may go into ritual cards, but like I say, it's especially the harder ones like ultimate ultimate ritual. They ain't easy to get. Um I can't remember if I got Black Luster Black Luster Ritual or not. I think I did. I think I bought Black Luster Ritual. I'm not too sure. Um, or at least I did in my old data. <clears throat> so we'll see. If there's any ritual cards I can buy that are kind of decent, then I'll, I'll just show them off. Just, you know, just for playthrough sakes. Just so you guys know, you know, if you've never seen a ritual card, or what, you know, what they what they like and presented and stuff, there you have it. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to equip uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon with Megamorph. Bright Castle. And then leave him an attack and see what he does. <clears throat> I mean, if you've got more equipped cards and you can make them stronger than Blue Eyes White Dragon, then go for it. But in this case, I didn't. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to, you know, just leave him an attack and see what he does. Probably Gate Guardian. No, okay, Blue Skull Dragon. It's fine. <clears throat> That's probably widespread runes. Yep. I had a feeling it would be. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a risk and attack. There we go. Destroyed. So I've still got my blue eyes. See what he does now. Okay, he's not using any magic cards. That's all good. Okay. Will this be another Black Skull? Yep. Cool. Nice. 
Now, really, if I wanted to, I could have Iron Embryonic Beast and Time Wizard get Summon Skull and then get Black Skull Dragon, but I figured I'm going to leave. I want to keep it as, you know, as much dragon as I possibly can. And I've got another Megamorph, so let's do that. I highly doubt I'm going to get an A or an S rank right now. I, I highly doubt it. <coughs> the amount of damage and the amount of equip cards I've used, it's not going to happen. <coughs> Another blue eyes, possibly. Let's see. No, just actual blue eyes, not blue eyes armor dragon. Okay. So yeah, y y you're gonna need to make sure you've got plenty of equipped cards. I would definitely recommend, um, you know, not needed, but it would make it a lot easier. Meet your blue dragon, hands down. Blue eyes. Obviously, you have to win it from him anyway, so... Um, twin Edded, you know, try and get Megamorph if you can. Or Bright Castle, Dragon Treasure, Roy Geki if you can. Or Dark Hole, but Dark Hole's not really as effective, so I wouldn't personally use it. Because um, you're just wasting your turn. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, it gets rid of your monsters as well. And uh, a few traps if you can, like widespread Runes by s -Tech and Pegasus. And then just sort of hope for your best. I think I'm going to do one more battle. Why not? But yeah, metal, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Easier to get the Metal Zoa. Hmm. I don't know why that is, but... <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I, I mean, I expect them both to be quite rare, but... Uh, the amount of effort... I mean... You know what I mean? You could be dawning so many times and thinking, no way, no way. It wouldn't take this long to win Metal Zoa. And then you win it, and then you're like, huh? Why? <laughs> Why does it take that long? I mean, some of you may even think, ah, oh, maybe if I fight, um, like, the Forest Mage, maybe I have to do that so many times to win Perfectly Ultimate. I personally, you know, Perfectly Ultimate has never been confirmed. There's practically... No way you can win perfectly ultimate without cheating. You can't um, <coughs> you can't buy it in card. You can't uh, ritual. You can't fuse to get it, and you can't win it. So, in a way, you can't complete the card library at all ever. Which I think is really silly, personally. Um, but you can't. No one's ever confirmed that you can get it without cheating, which is really, really, really silly. As for uh, um, Ultimate Dragon, um, not Ultimate Dragon, sorry, uh, Magician of Black Chaos, I'm I'm really not sure. Again, I think you have to cheat for it. You can't get the Ritual card. You can't buy the Ritual card. The password don't work. Okay, I lost. So I'll do another one. Try and win another battle. Um, yeah, you can't win. Um, no, sorry, sorry. You can't buy the the ritual card for magician, black chaos. You can't obviously buy healing card, and no one really knows if there's a way to win him. So, ironically, in the instructions manual, it shows you know magician of black chaos, and you think, oh, you can win it, but you know no one's ever confirmed that you can. So it's like I don't think you can, which is really. You know, you'd assume that you would win it, um, but, you know, I mean, in the instructions manual, it shows that however, you know, whatever data is in there, that someone's grinded for so long and they've got Blue's Armour and everything, but I think it's just the creators, you know, the, the, I think it's just the creators, they've probably just cheated and got all the best cards because, you know, no one's ever confirmed that you can get Blue's Ultimate. Um, there is actually a mod I've heard about that... Um, makes it so that you can eventually win Black Skull Dragon in card, Blue Eyes Ultimate in card, Gate Guardian, Perfectly Ultimate, <clears throat> so you can complete the library and everything. But, you know, it's a mod. I don't really want to play a mod. What? I shouldn't have to play a mod to win these cards and, you know, complete the library. You can, however, get Great Moth. Um, I've never won it in card, I don't think. Oh, no, 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 I lie. I believe, I think I have won it in card. Um, it's very rare. You can't buy it. You can fuse it. You can, you can fuse it with Lava Amoth and um, Cocoon of Evolution. 
But yeah, there's there's so many cards. Like I say, the one time I glitched, the game glitched, and I got Black Skull Dragon from. I'm pretty certain it was Meta Mage. Let's have a quick uh, duel with Meta Mage. See if we can get a drag like me a dragon or something. Um, yeah, I mean we could be all wrong. It could we could be that, you know, we really do have to grind like ridiculous amount of times like with Sebek to win some of these rare cards but lots of people have done this and you know it's been this game's been out for so many years I think someone would have found out by now personally in my opinion in the actual game someone would have found out you know whether you can actually win these rare cards which like I say is a real shame um, I know you can win the pieces of Exodia well I've never won the forbidden the head of the forbidden one um, if I can get them legitimately, I will. Otherwise, I will cheat just to show them off. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I've I've won. I've. It's very easy. Well, what's that? Wasn't easy. Well, compared to uh, okay, Millennium Shield, blah. Compared to the other pieces, the right arm and the left arm are quite easy to win. You can like win them from like. The villagers, you can win them from Simon Muran. Um, you can win them, f win them from uh, what should we call it? Taya, Joey, almost anyone. Um, he actually has all the pieces, Simon Muran. Um, and it's rumored to said that the person to get the forbidden one, the head, is from Hai Jin. I've never won it, so I may experiment with that. Okay, I got Sogum. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's uh, quite a meaty video, I think. Let's like say um, it is possible to get Blue Eyes White Dragon from Nightmare. I think I won it once before, um, but it's a l like I say, it's harder, in my opinion, to fight Set of the Third than Nightmare. They're almost as difficult as each other, but I still think Set of the Third gets Blue Eyes Armor nearly every time, whereas he doesn't. He gets Gate Guardian a little bit more than he does Blue Eyes Armor Dragon. Um, <clears throat> and that's probably why it's easier to get Blue Eyes White Dragon from Set of the Fair because it's harder. Um, but yeah, that's my. I definitely, you know, if you want to get Blue Eyes White Dragon, get kind of a deck that I've got. I mean, you don't have to have a dragon deck, obviously, but Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes White. Sorry, not Blue Eyes White. Me will be Dragon. In my opinion, it's a must. Twin edited. As many as quick cards as you can. Obviously, like I say. The cards I don't have now in is Metal Zoa, which I won, as you can see there. Um, <coughs> and of course Skull Knight and Zoa, see look how many times I've won Zoa. Zoa's not that hard to win, honestly. I've got Suijin a couple of times, um, Dark Magician, yeah, so you know, these cards you can put in, Karzajin, make sure you've got equipped cards and stuff, you know, as many equipped cards. Actually, let's have a quick gander. This is my old decks. I haven't really looked too much into what I've actually got. Okay, let's have a look. So, we've got Dark Hole. Dragon Capture Jar. I don't know if I mentioned it. You can win it from uh, Pegasus. Um, Heartbeat Feather. You can win from Pegasus or you can win from Mai. It's actually not too bad to win. Just try and S Tech them, like I say. Make the opponent run out of cards. Um, Hitomi Hinotama, I think you can buy this or you can win this against, I think it's Vigil Villager 2. I think it's Villager 2. Um, Red Medicine, I think is again one of the villagers. A lot of them tend to have like weak, powerful, like weak, powerful, sorry, weak magic cards like Red Medicine. Healing, healing, healing cards, that's it. Sparks, you can win from Simon Moran, quite easy to be honest. It's not that hard. Uh, War Elimination. Um, you can win that from Meadow Mage. You don't even have to S Tech him. I've actually won it in card by just A Power on him or something. So you can do that. Uh, field cards are really not that hard. Like I say, you could just like fight like the mages for each of the um, types and just you know win them from there. They're really not that hard. <clears throat> um, as a trap hole, yep. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, win it from Kaiba. Bad reaction to some make. I think, I think I could be wrong. I think I got it from uh, Pegasus as well. And um, basically, um, what this does, it ref it's actually 
reverses the effects of recovery cards. Um, bear trap, yeah, you can win from my, not that great. Fake trap, not that great. Uh, Goblin fan, it reflects um, those uh, cards like fire sparks and stuff back at the opponent. Again, not very good card. You can win from like Rex Raptor. Is widespread runes. What have we got for rituals? Black Buster Ritual. Yeah, so I think I bought this. Um, I must have bought this Black Luster Ritual. Um, so I'll show that off eventually. I'll show it off when I get a, um, a Warrior deck. When I make a Warrior deck. Um, again, I think I... No, I won this. Um, Construct of Master. I'm not sure who I won this from. Um, Curse of Millennium Shield. I think I bought this. But I think you can win this from Bakura. Yeah, you can win this from Bakura. Um, again, I think I bought this Curse of Tryhorn Dragon. Um, you can win it from I think Hygien. I think Hamburger Recipe. You can win from what's his name? Bandit Keith. Uh, I think I bought this Yamada Dragon. Uh, Zero Ritual. Zero Ritual. Again, I think Hygien, like the second. Uh, the first, or even Banded Keith, I think. Um, I bought Dark Energy, uh, Dragon Treasure, Kyber, or oh, we can buy it. Elves like I had at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it anyway for this episode. So in the next episode, um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I may. Uh, either do like some more, I'll do like a different deck, customize a different deck, or I might just leave it like this and let you guys decide um, if you want me to <coughs> to like show off Exodia next, or if you want to see some custom, you know, some custom decks. I mean, if I've got, to, if I've got to pay some life point, life point. Sorry, if I have to pay some star chips to get some you know some different type cards I mean I've got quite a few here anyway I mean I've got you know over 3,000 cards um, so you know if you want to see like a certain type deck let's say a warrior spellcaster fiend beast insect machine water whatever um, then you know please let me know in the comment section um, of this video or, or just send, P send me a direct PM if you like um, and I will do that, and I'll record a few um, a few videos. Or even if, uh, if there's a couple of opponents you want me to fight, then yeah, feel free to include that. Uh, but I think that's it for now. Um, like I say, that's how you pretty much skip Laura's White Dragon anyway. Um, make a, I'm not saying the most powerful deck, keep all the equip cards, all the traps, um, ride Gekis if you can get it, and you're pretty much set to go. And that's just pretty much trial and error. Keep winning until you know. Keep going until you eventually get a star on S and and a S rank, um, and you shall eventually get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Anyway, that's it for the first part of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories extra video. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys in the next video.